Hey everybody, welcome back to Film Addiction, the best addiction there is to have. I'm Cody, and my broski from another broski, uh, John Roy. John Roy has his own channel, which is John Roy's Media Mayhem. There you go. He's got one video up, but he will have another one coming up next week. Yep. Um, kind of a follow up to this video, but today. Me and him and his girlfriend Morgan, awesome, and my wife and my kiddo Haley, of course everyone knows, and Emily. We all went to Orbit DVD um, in Asheville, and then we went to Mr. K's, which we, you know, I went to uh, about a month ago with a bunch of YouTubers, but told him about it. He wanted to go check it out, and that's what we did today. So just a little spontaneous trip. Um, he never been there, so we went and checked it out. It's awesome. Anybody that hasn't gone needs to check it out. For sure. It is, it's not a huge store, but literally... It's packed. I had about $100 worth of stuff in my basket, and I looked at one aisle. So, and you can spend hours in there, and just the five or six, seven aisles that they have. Like, it's that easy. Yeah. Next time we're going to McKay's. Yeah. Not Mr. K's. Not Mr. K's. K's. My K's. Yes. So we had a blast. We went out. We had lunch before we got started because it only opened until 12. We had lunch, had a few drinks. Everybody had a great time hanging out. We went to Orbit. Then we went to Mr. K's. And then drove back, which was three hours. And then had dinner and came home. So that's where we're at now. And we're going to show off what we got today. Correct him, Google. Uh, so I figured we'd just show off what we got in Orbit DVD today, and then after that we'll show what we got at Mr. K's. So you want to start off with one? Uh, yeah, sure. So my first pickup was Edward Scissorhands. I have this movie on DVD, and I believe I have it on VHS as well. Nice. But Blu-ray, it's awesome. Giant Depp, one of his iconic roles so this was actually part of a deal at orbit so yeah i picked it up i was in like a little bin where you get stuff cheap it was on the wall where you could get the, oh like three uh, for 15 three for 15 yeah okay is that where my morgan? girlfriend's never seen it and she wanted to watch it so i picked it up and morgan got a bunch of stuff too which she got a bunch of stuff which will be in the next video she's gonna do the video with me I also, when we were in there, saw a bunch of stuff that I wanted to get, but it was cheaper to order it through their website or through a similar website. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing That's that, fair. and they'll be in a future video as well. Yeah. They told us about a bunch of stuff we can go off um, on their site and order. Yeah. Um, the people that work there are awesome. Very and I also friendly. had Blood Diner um, in my basket, but... Found it on Amazon for ten dollars cheaper, so we ordered that as well. So that's not in here, but we ordered it. All right, so my first pickup from Orbit. This is actually Emily's pickup. We do not shock. We own this on DVD without a case because a long time ago I took out my movies and put them in books. Long story, but we got a still book, which was twenty dollars. There's the front. I'm gonna take the sticker off the back real quick. Hella jealous of this one. So there's the front of the Exorcist. It says the extended director's cut right there. And there's the back. This is the best horror film ever. It's fucking phenomenal. Oh, a little code. Here, you want a code? I doubt it works. But if it darks, there's a code for the Exorcist. I doubt it works, though. And then there's the inside. So classic movie. Got that. That's a sexy steel book. Too. That's a sexy that steel book. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, uh, everything in my collection except for Snap DVDs and TV shows is completely alphabeticalized. Yeah. So I have a shelf over there that you cannot see, starting with A's on Blu rays. It goes all the way to like, uh, what's the last? L, I think. And then up here we have the horror pack. And then it goes into the Vestron, Vinegar Syndrome, Aero Video, Screen Factory, Shout Factory, Kenilover, Criterion, and then back into the oh A24s. 
and then M's. So that starts M's, and then the Blu-rays go into the living room on the two spinning shelves, completing the collection of Blu-rays. And then we also did the DVDs. This took a whole week to do this. DVDs, which turned into two full shelves and two rotating shelves, which I'll be getting rid of some DVDs. But everything is alphabeticalized, except for snap cases and um, TV, TV shows. shows. Yep. So it feels great. It was a lot of pressure, a lot of work, and it's going to be a lot of work to keep up. But it is in order, and I can make a video if y'all want. But So the collection is looking awesome. It looks uh, fantastic. It does. Yeah. Looks a lot better. Um, it's yeah. It satisfying. looks very organized. Yes. A lot of work. Not enough room, but it's there. Anyways, uh, next movie. Uh, the next movie I picked up was Doctor Sleep, sequel to The Shining. This one's got Ewan McGregor in it. Fantastic actor. I believe I actually talked about this in my first video. What you do? This was nope. one of the ones that I said was a oh, one that I could rewatch over and over again. Which is absolutely true. This movie was nearly perfect when we saw it in the theater. Yes. So this is one of the few movies that I will say is a perfect movie. Yeah. When I was in theaters, I was completely 100% shocked and just absolutely loved it. I think it's a perfect movie, perfect sequel, if you want to call it that. Um, and it's just, it's great. So. And it's an upgrade for me. Went from DVD to Blu-ray. I used to be hella poor, which I still am, but I wanted to upgrade, and I got it on the deal, so. There you go. Dr. Sleep. Next up, still have not watched um, Killing of the Sacred Deer, it's but it's what? great. It's great. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, awesome. I've been here some iffy things. It's not a fantastic movie, but it's worth watching. I'm going to watch it, for sure. Yeah. Still haven't watched it, but I got it. But since I was in there and I turned it down last time because someone said it's a shitty ass movie, but people in the comments, let me know down below. Screw what that guy says and get the movie anyways. I got The Lobster. <laughs> Apparently. But whatever. It's all right. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is another Friday. Well, this is Saturday, technically. Yeah. Well, this is Saturday night outlining. So, of course, me and John Roy are having some drinks. And Adam, the movie hunter, you are invited any time. Any time. We Thank will. you for the shout out, by the way. I appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. Best channel on YouTube. Check them out at the Movie Hunter anytime. Go check them out. Um, and we'll pay for your, you know, your plane ticket to come down and hang out with us. Yeah, man. But yeah, I got the lobster. We'll find out. I don't know. But that it's was an bit. interesting one. Oh, I'm sure. It's out there. <laughs> Next up is my my one recommendation to John Roy. So there were a lot of movies I picked up in orbit but cody recommended this this is highway to hell no idea what the Love hell this, this movie. movie is nothing you know nothing about no, it? i know nothing oh boy you're All in for I a treat that guy looks like he's fucking badass as fuck so let's watch this shit and find out it is awesome if you've never seen highway to hell um definitely grab it um this is one of the first movies i got at grindhouse video before they closed down no way this movie, I watched this as a kid way too early, but this movie is fantastic, and I want you to do a review on your channel. I will. I will. Of that movie. He picked this up and literally throws it in my basket and says, this is the one movie you have to buy while we're here. So here it is. Highway to Hell. <clears throat> there you go. See? Alphabetical eyes. Boom. Look at that. The boy's got it on lock. Your boy, your boy's got it down, ready to go. <laughs> All right, next up, just watch Adam Movie Hunters again. Um, channel, uh, video, recent video, and went into Orbit DVD and saw Candyland. Um, it looks awesome from the cover. It read well. I don't know if he actually saw it or not, but he picked it up, and so I picked it up. So Candyland, there you go, Adam. Hope it's good. There were a couple copies of that. That one may end up in my uh, cart when I do my online order. There you go. Yeah, we definitely need to do some online ordering from them. Yeah. So we don't have to, you know, waste gas driving three hours. Yeah, it's a little bit of gas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my next pickup, 
a lot of people were not a fan of this movie, but I love Straw Dogs. It is a remake of sorts. It's not exactly true to the original, but this movie, I watched it when I was way too young to watch it. But yeah, I wanted I this movie I for a while. And it's wild. It's a hell of a time. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It starts out slow, but once you get towards the end, I mean, it really kicks off. And when it kicks off, they fuck shit up. Pretty sure I own it, and I bought the original last time when we did the group with the YouTube at uh, McKay's. I bought it on DVD. I want to say the original has Dustin Hoffman. Yes, it does. And Pretty it's sure. good, too. This one's a little more graphic. We'll mm. put it that way. All right, next up, I got Enemy with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Kind of on Jake Gyllenhaal kick since uh, Roadhouse came out. Yeah. Uh, Roadhouse was eh. It was eh. I didn't really. Conor McGregor, everybody's like, oh, he's so great. He kind of gets my fucking nerves, honestly. I don't know why. The dude is of... a fuckhead. He he did great in the movie. <laughs> he was fan. He was great. Whatever. He just gets my damn nerves. But Jake Gyllenhaal is a fantastic actor. And I have seen this once. Once. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it's fucking Ewok and everything. Uh, once, and I remember liking it a lot, but it needs a revisit. And this is A24. So, pick this up for the A24 collection, which I have down there. So, boom. I've never seen that one. That's it's pretty cool. I didn't one. know you picked that up. Nope, it's a good one. Nice. Check it out. It's a little, it makes you think kind of thing. What kind of movie is it? Makes you think. Makes me think. <laughs> Something I'm not good at, apparently. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, apparently, my next pickup was True. Terrifier. So I own the second one, because it was a wide release. You could pick it up at Walmart. Got it. I did not pick up the fancy copy on 4K, but... I wanted Terrifier, which I have never seen anywhere physically. So when I saw it in Orbit, I was like, yes, I have to have it. I actually lent my dad the second one, and he just watched it and said it was one of the most disgusting things he has ever seen. So I can't wait until he sees this one and sees one specific scene in this. I won't ruin it, but it's fucking yeah. gross. <laughs> uh, so one or two, which one's better? Uh, I preferred to. It was longer and had more fucked up shit. But yeah, I'm a I'll fucked up that. person. All right, next up. Now you know nothing about it, but it was on Adam's channel. Um, and you've seen this, right? Yes. Dead Good Girl. Uh, it, he read me the back of it. Um, and like I said, it was on Adam's channel. And he usually has pretty good taste. So pick this up today as well. So twenty five ninety nine. Say why not. I almost grabbed that one. That one will definitely be on my online pickup. And this is Unearthed Films. Yes. So it's probably fucked up. It's fucked up. I'm going to show uh, two more real quick because you have two more left. All right, next up. This was not on the shelf, but they had it in a little basket that they're about to put out. And that was the original Hitcher. Uh, I love the remake. Or what? It's a I remake. guess it's a remake, yeah. Yeah, I love the remake. I, I love, thought it was fantastic. So, hoping this one is good. Um, this is from one. Umbrella. And he said this was region free. So, I'll grab that. It's, he said it's from uh, last month's releases. Yeah. I've never seen the original, so I couldn't tell you if it's worth shit or not. That is a good movie, and I did not know you picked it up either. Well, there you go. I got Last Shift. Um, there is a remake that I got. Malium? Is that is this what it's called? The guy at Orbit was actually talking about it. But I picked that up. Um, I actually sent that into a group chat recently. The slipcover gave nothing away. The back had like four words on it. But apparently it's a remake to this movie. And this movie looks creepy as hell. So I grabbed this. So I could watch this and then watch the remake. So, from what I remember of that movie, it is creepy, but in a very strange sense. Okay. But, 
like Cody said, there is a remake of it. Completely different name, hard to say. It's like Malium or something like oh, that. Black Hammer, what's you called? can pick it up at Walmart, that, but they're black. like locked up. It's yeah. a black case in a plastic box. You cannot get it out. Because mm -hmm. I was like, I want to see what the hell this is about. I had to get it on. It gives nothing. I had to get on the internet to research it. There's nothing on the back of the slipcover. There is nothing but the title of the movie and one red like line on the front of it. I mean, you can't see shit. Which sold me. Yeah. All right, what's the next one? So the it? next one I picked up was a part of the three for 15 deal, and it is The Pale Door. This is actually a Western horror movie, which in my next video, you'll see a lot of similarities in the movies that I picked up. Okay. There are a lot of, we'll just go with Westerns. There are a lot of Western horror, but we'll just go with Westerns. I've never heard of this. This is one that I actually watched a channel that is all about Western movies, and they did a special one on Western horror movies. And since I'm playing Red Dead right now, I'm big into that. And I love horror movies, so I was like, fuck yeah, best of both cool. worlds. Picked cool. it up. Know nothing about it, though. Never heard of it. That's well, cool as hell, though. Oh, yeah, that thing's fucking creepy. I'll put it over here so you can do a little Thank thing you. later. Last one I picked up at Orbit is Bruce Campbell vs. The Army of Darkness. This is the Bootleggers Edition, which we were told today is actually the same as the Screwhead Edition. Mm -hmm. It has the alternate ending at the end. That's pretty much the only bonus. But, I mean, I love the Evil Dead franchise, and I own almost everything except for the big box Cody has up there. You can't see The Groovy Collection. The Groovy. Yep. Yeah, I mean. That's pretty I was cool. Gonna pick for it five up. bucks, yeah, I would pick it up, bucks. too. Well, actually, it was five bucks, but it was, like, half off, right? Yeah, was it was that? half off. Yeah. So, it was, like, what, $1.50? Two dollars? Two fifty, two fifty, yeah, something, something like that. that. Yeah. All right, my last two pickups from Orbit was Stigmata. Is that how you say it? Stigmata. Um, I think I've seen this, but no, it's been a long is. time. Um, so I don't remember much about it. I think this just got a 4K too, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't read Latin, so I don't know what it says. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so I picked that up. It was 16 bucks, but I don't know if that's a good deal or not. But I saw it and picked it up. Looks cool. And then last but not least, this was Emily's pickup. This is called Casual Sex. Hell yeah. That's porn. Hell yeah, porn. Um, <laughs> but it's got the cool rewind um, VHS tape slipcover on it um, from Mill Creek. Uh, I've never seen this. No. So, but if you've seen this, let me know down below. Is from Back to the Future. Yep, that was Back to the Future chick, and the other one, I'm not sure. So Fine as hell. Got that. Oh, one thing I will throw in there. If you've never been to Orbit, they have a huge, like, selection at the bottom of the shelves. And even on one, like, wall that I noticed there were a lot of VHSs. I didn't get to oh, go yeah. through them, but they had VHSs. some that looked I barely looked. I, I was looking for Evil Dead, but I didn't have it. So I just, I walked away. Because I was like, I'm cool. not spending money on it. VHSs are cool. I yeah. still like them. I still have a VHS player, so. I need a VCR, so. All right, so next up is Mr. K's. Yeah. Uh, you want to start, or you? Uh, I'll start this one, because I actually grabbed two at a thrift oh, yeah. store that was right next door to it. Right next door. They had a little bitty media selection, which was... I think all DVDs have like yeah, two Blu-rays. Yeah. So I picked up Out of the Furnace. This is Casey Affleck and... Christian Bale, right? Christian Bale. Yeah. I remember seeing this movie. I don't remember a lot about it. This shit was a dollar, though. And I remembered liking it, so I wanted to grab it. That's all I picked. And then I picked up The Romdies Collection Volume 2. So my girlfriend, when we went to Walmart in Florida last year, picked up Rombie's Volume 1. Okay. It was in the $5 bin. She's like, I've never seen any of these. We're out. 
It's kind of like a prolonged date night. Right. We were there for a week. We watched one every day. There you go. There's like six in it. So we watched all of them. She loved them. She thought they were great. This one you have to order off of their website for, it's only 10 bucks, but this shit was a dollar also. So she wanted to see them. I grabbed them. So this one's for you, Morgan. There you go. We had a little cut there, so we had to fix this. All right, so next up at Mr. K's. Uh, this was still there, and this is from Movies for Ryan's recommendation. We were there last time, and I did not pick it up and regretted it as soon as I left because it was expensive. So The Killer, um, John Woo film, um, everything else that he has recommended so far has been fantastic. So jealous. Ryan, pick that up. We're going to be checking that out really soon. That's great. It's a great movie. Let's turn this over on camera. How about that? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, so my first pickup from Mr. Case is Attack the Block. Again, another movie a lot of people were not fans of. I have but not seen I that. thought it was fucking funny and it's entertaining and it's action. It's wild. I actually picked up a copy of this at Orbit, but it was a little overpriced and i got this one it is a used copy at mr k's so this a lot cheaper the, though yeah a lot cheaper oh yeah but this is a hard movie to find because a lot of people didn't like it so they just decided not to make a lot there you go next up i got dream house uh don't know anything about it but it has daniel craig Naomi watts and rachel Weiss, 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 Weiss. Weiss. Uh, you seen this? Yes. Oh. I've watched that movie probably ten times. It's great. Okay, well, good. I, I also up. didn't see that you grabbed that. And I that was a random, it. that was like the last movie I picked up when I was walking through. I saw it, grabbed it. Okay. What you got? So, this one, I actually know nothing about. It's from the producers of Halloween and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I'm assuming it's the newer ones. It is called The Violent Kind. Looks like a motorcycle movie. It says that it has okay. extreme violence. So that was like a Sons of Anarchy thing or something? Well, that's what I assumed too. And then it said it was really fucked up on the back of it. So, cool. Five I was bucks. like, yeah, five, five bucks. bucks. Let's try it. Next up, this is Emily's pickup. We got Inside Out. Apparently, we do not own this. This is hilarious. And a sequel is. Coming out this year? Yeah. Uh, this so, summer. with anxiety, I think. It's a new yeah. paper. Yeah. So, grab this. Figured, why not? Decent movie for a kid's movie. Yeah. Let's show one more. You got a couple of those, I think. Show yeah. one more. I uh, got It Comes at Night, um, adding to the uh, A24 titles. Don't own this one. This one doesn't really run cheap, but it was cheap there. So, and I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it for what it was in theaters. It's so, good. Seen I it grabbed once. it on DVD when it came out and never upgraded. It's good, though. Yeah. Got uh, Joel Eg Edgerton. Edgerton. Yep. So, pick that up. Uh, that's another one people just kind of didn't like because it wasn't what they were expecting. All right. But it's a fantastic movie. Oh, Kurt Russell. Yeah, so I have a little problem with Kurt Russell of in my top five that I posted last time, he's in a lot of them. And here's another one. Soldier. Um, I saw this when I was a kid. This is a movie my dad liked a lot. And from what I remember, he's like on some kind of alien trash planet. And it's being invaded by some kind of bad aliens or people. I can't remember exactly, but... Yeah, he kills the shit out of some people. Another cut. Yeah, so this is Kurt Russell's soldier. <laughs> not enough space on this phone. I'm not sure what the hell's going on. So we're just going to rush through these last couple and wrap this up. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, next Who's one on? I picked up is Monkey Paul. No, nothing. Fucking <laughs> <Get> him. <laughs> no, nothing about this movie. Looks cool. 
Scott the guy from uh, Don't Breathe. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, I got Don't Knock Twice. Uh, has my girl Katie Sackoff in it. Uh, screen Factory. So I picked that up for five bucks. What I don't know what about it. Katie Sackoff. She was in Battle for Glass. Like, so. <laughs> Whatever. Katie yeah. Sackoff. Okay. Next. Next. What you got? The Devil's Dolls. Also know nothing about this. No, it was on the out of print thing on Screen Factory. So I wanted to pick it up. Is it screen Factory on the side? Um, yes, yeah, Screen cool. Factory's on the side. Sweet. Um, yeah, so if anybody knows about space on phone and I deleted everything, um, and then deleted it from delete pile, I don't know. But I got Black Hat, I know this is on, um, Aero Video. That's a good one. Um, box set. Didn't want to pay like $40 for it, so I paid $5 for it. Um, Blu-ray, so. And then I got Rain. This is a Martin Scorsese Presents film. Um, I passed on this last time I was there. Um, and I decided to pick it up this time. So, there's that. That's cool. Martin Scorsese. Cool. What you got? Uh, next one I picked up is Bag of Bones. This is a Stephen King adaptation. Love the book. Never seen the movie. Hope it's good. Let so me know how it is because I've picked it up like five times and haven't bought it yet. Yeah. I mean, hopefully it's awesome. And then Emily picked up All the Pretty Horses. This has movie. Matt Damon, which I love. Henry Thomas, Penelope Cruz, and Lucas Black. Penelope Cruz is fine as fuck. Yes, she is fine as fuck. Um, your group is watching this, but don't know anything about it. Just let me know down below. Great. <laughs> Next, I got The 13th Warrior. I remember Johnny so from Johnny, what's Johnny watching? Um, talking about this. And I've had this before in the collection, but didn't have it when I re did my collection, so I picked this up for five bucks. And the Blu ray is printed like $150. Yeah, it is. Sure. Last one I picked up is Frogs. It's got Sam Elliott in it. It's a horror movie. Never seen it. Love Sam Elliott. I hope it's good. I have that and seen it. It's decent. And last but not least is the Emily pickup. But Butch Cassidy. <laughs> Butch, Butch Cassidy. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids. No one's watching this at this point, anyways. Uh, she picked this up. Uh, she's been on a hunt for this for a while. This Fantastic was eight fucking dollars uh, for the DVD copy. So we got that. She loves uh, Robert Redford and Paul Newman. Paul also Newman. This. So yeah. So let's see if we can do this real quick. Uh, Beat your ass to it. <laughs> so this is my pile. Da -da -da. And that is your pile. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we picked up for more Red DVD and Mr. K's today. Hopefully this video is not cut off real quick. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Go check out John Conroy's channel over at John Roy's Media Mayhem. And hopefully this video will be put together nicely. In some kind of and form. probably not. <laughs> it's probably gonna suck ass. So like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and it was another fun adventure with my boy and his girlfriend and my family, and it was awesome. Hell of a day. Um, see you guys on the flip side. Bye!